टॉपिक सैटरडे मॉर्निंग बाय सदफ मसूद अहमद रशीद रोल्ड ओवर ऑन इज बेड इट वॉज अ हॉट एंड ह्यूमिड मॉर्निंग डिस्पाइट द फास्ट मूविंग सीलिंग फैन ही वॉज परस्पायरिंग हैवीली फीलिंग वेरी अनकम्फर्टेबल ही गॉट अप एंड सेट ऑन द बेड हिट्स क्लोज स्टिकिंग टू हिज बैक इट वॉज अर्ली मॉर्निंग एंड द सन हैड एंड रिजन फुली रशीद वॉज अ यंग मैन इन इज लेट ट्वेंटीज ही गॉट मैरिड अर्ली टू हिज कजन जमीला ही हैड शॉर्ट वेवी हेयर muddy brown eyes and a sharp nose his room was small with only one window which didn't offer a pleasant view there was little furniture a bed which was insufficient to hold him and jamila a cot in which his toddler was asleep a mirror hung on the wall and a cupboard with all the belongings of the household no extra chairs to be dragged out when guests came and nowadays guests rarely came they all had so many problems of their own as he said he thought about the day ahead and last night when jamila gave him the unwelcome news now he looked at her his wife lying beside him but today he felt angry at her as he looked at her he noticed her once fair face still had the same brown nose and full lips but now her complexion had faded she was the kind who took pains in her duties and took pleasure in them she was used to waking up early she was sleeping peacefully jamila was pregnant all he could think about was another mouth to feed which made him a bit edgy and somewhat angry this news was meant to make him happy when amjad was conceived he was the happiest man in the world leila's news was good and then rahil's news gave him concerns but he managed but this time it was worrying him another mouth to feed he thought about those reproachful eyes which had not yet formed looking at him full of desires demanding questioning finally he got up and shook jamila awake he went over to rahil's crib his toddler was still fast asleep sucking his thumb Rashid gently pulled Rahil's thumb out. Rahil stirred. Rahil whispered some soothing, meaningless words and hummed a tune. Time started dissolving in space like it always did in the morning hours. Rashid went into the kitchen for breakfast where he saw a paratha burning on the skillet. "What are you doing?" Rashid asked, arching his eyebrows. "What are you thinking about?" Rashid asked another question. her huh? she asked looking at the skillet being caught off guard by the question i asked you what are you doing rashid said this time a little irked he hated repeating himself in a bad mood oh that i was just thinking that's all jamila said to her husband what were you thinking rashid asked entering the kitchen i was thinking that i get bored at home all day i should look for a job probably at a school i would enjoy it and we can always do with some more money jamila replied trying to sound convincing hmm rashid glared at her softened he realized he had been wrong and his anger was misplaced you don't have to do that you know i will never allow it he paused for few seconds and said don't worry these simple words had a soothing effect on her she smiled and he smiled back as he was about to leave his daughter leila came up to him leila was a 4 year old chubby little girl she laughed a lot and had a habit of holding her belly when she laughed she had her mother's nose and her brown eyes sparkled with innocence with rashid hope she would never lose abba said leila he turned around to his daughter it was a weekend and rashid knew what his daughter was going to demand i will be back before you say abba he assured his daughter abba she said again mischievously and smiled rashid smiled back and said abba ki jaan say this after the meal i will be back laila made a face he smiled again 
how peaceful they made his life they were so special to him he could do with another child perhaps with some overtime at work but he could manage where is your brother sleeping he will not get up until noon he said this last night it's the grown up's way revealed lela he stepped out of his house feeling pleased and satisfied he waved at his daughter who was still standing at the door and he knew she would stand there until he was out of sight i should take them out somewhere special today they deserve a treat once in a while he drifted in his serene thoughts rashid he was interrupted by a voice he knew to whom it belonged he turned around and saw chacha moin gesturing towards him chacha moin was in rashid's uncle by blood just a friendly neighbor lines on his face showed how ancient he was with a hunched back and hardly any teeth in his mouth liver spots covering his face old skin hanging from his chin he was over a few decades into his retirement age and claimed to have seen the finest and most peaceful times of karachi when people used to sleep with their front gates unlocked chacha moin had been to every street in karachi as rashid moved towards him he spotted his father beside chacha moin his father was not as ancient as chacha moin which was evident by the absence of a hunched back and the presence of teeth but time had not been merciful to him marking his face with additional lines that was the demand of his age rashid caught the sound of enthusiasm in their conversation they were talking about something which was making them both equally excited and joyful rashid sahib always in such a rush spare some of your precious time for this poor old man chacha moin twisted him oh chacha ji i am at your service all the time always within calling distance rashid replied smiling he couldn't understand it but for some reason he was happy and couldn't help smiling probably his chat with jamila and her sad face made him want to fight every hardship she was his light why are you leaving for work today stay home with your family and enjoy the moment time is very deceptive it will pass quickly and before you know you will be as old as i am with no entertainment and no kids to look after i will have them both don't you worry said rashid i got a call the other night from my nephew he wants me to visit him i refused straight away don't want to be away from my television in the cricket season chacha moin turned his attention back to rashid's father cricket is the only entertainment left in our lives commented rashid's father but you have so many grandchildren to look after replied chacha moin ijazat dijiye chacha ji abba i am getting late rashid knew that he wasn't needed any longer to be part of this conversation chacha moin just asked him to join out of habit he did it with every passer by rashid moved towards the bus stop he turned around to take a look at his house leila was rooted at the same spot she waved to him vigorously he waved back i didn't say goodbye to jamila rashid thought there is always the evening to come to make up and with this thought he proceeded towards his destination once he reached the bus stop he sensed a smaller crowd than usual he stood waiting for the bus when he heard the sound for the first time it was a very loud sound piercing his ears everybody was running rashid didn't know the reason then panic seized him and he started running back towards his home but before he could run more than a few steps it hit him tearing into his flesh once twice thrice until he lost count his body was numbed he couldn't hear the surrounding sounds as though he were inside a vacuum or a cylinder there was pain but all his senses were anesthetized this bizarre sensation continued he tried to move his limbs there was no power left in him he thought about his family his world was melting around him a face swam into his sight it belonged to a young man rashid blinked several times to focus on the young face who was examining human bodies little around him 
Rashid mustered all his energy trying to call for help. He must have made some sort of sound because now he had the young man's attention. He met the young man's eyes inside himself he was begging for help. He didn't have the strength to conjure up the words. The young man was moving towards him now to inspect him. A crease formed on his forehead. He pointed something in his direction. Then Rashid saw it. His scream never left his mouth as the young man pulled the trigger again.